Hey guys, hello, what's up? So today's video is brought to you by a hot, hot Kathleen. My AC broke two days ago and someone can't come fix it until tomorrow. Guys, I live in Miami and it's the middle of summer. And I'm sitting in front of three hot lights. So I will say, 50% of my dew is actually dew. And then the other 50% is my sweat. But anyway guys, today's video is going to be my top three favorites in every makeup category. I actually saw Jamie Page do this video like a month ago and I've been wanting to do it ever since I saw that video. I just never had the chance to do it. And actually I'm pretty sure her video was inspired by Julia Adams. So I will link both of their videos down below. But basically I'm just gonna go through every single category like primer, foundation, blush, and I'm gonna share with you my top three favorites at the moment because similar to what Jamie said in her video this list tends to change pretty often I mean don't get me wrong some of these you definitely recognize I'm a creature of habit and I have my holy grails my staples but there are a few products in here that I've been recently loving that recently became holy grail status for me so that'll be fun and interesting to talk about but I assume like six months from now this will change again. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with primer and I actually don't have three primers to share with you. I tried to really force myself to narrow it down to three products in every category, but when it came to primer, there really aren't any primers in my collection that I love as much as these and they will definitely come to no surprise to you. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's their primer and moisturizer in one. This has been my holy grail primer for years and years and I love it so much because it's it tends to make any foundation I put on top just looks so dewy and yummy. It's seriously the best. I love how dewy it makes my skin look. It's the primer I'm wearing underneath my foundation right now. And I mean, I got a lot of dew going on for several reasons, but this just keeps me looking and feeling moisturized all day long. And honestly, sometimes I do have to be careful with this primer because I feel like the longer it's on my skin, the dewier it gets actually. Like if I wear it under a dewy foundation, by the end of the night, I'm gonna be extra dewy. So keep that in mind in case you have like normal to oily skin. I would only recommend this if you have very dry skin because it really does like lock in the moisture and like keeps it there all day. It's just my favorite, it really is. It's like a glass of water for my dry ass texture. And then I also really, really love the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. This is a little bit different. It, it is more serum-y than the primerizer. The primerizer feels like true slip. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, just so slippy and hydrating and like watery. This is more serum -y and thick, but it's not as thick as a face oil. It's not like an oily face primer. It's kind of like the perfect in-between. You know the Smashbox Primer Oil? I used to really, really love that, but found it to be a little bit too thick. This is kind of like a love child between the primerizer and the primer oil only it leans a little bit more on this side it just makes my skin look so glowy so healthy so moisturizing and I feel like it doesn't break down my foundation at all it doesn't make my skin look oilier throughout the day I kind of feel like this primer grabs onto my makeup more than this one does this one is a bit more long wearing so it really depends on how I'm feeling or what I'm doing for the day I will go for either one of these okay so for foundations I don't have anything new and exciting I have Four, I know, I had to do four. I had to do four, but I have four Holy Grail staples. These are my must-have base products. The first one being the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. This is my favorite high-end foundation ever. Well, as you know, in second place, the face and body foundation from Makeup Forever was my Truly the best foundation of all time, but this comes in second place. To me, this, oh my gosh, I'm almost done. I only have that much left. <laughs> this honestly gives me everything I want in a foundation. It gives me amazing coverage, a beautiful glow. It's not too greasy, it's not too dewy, so I don't feel like it really transfers. Some dewy foundations just like, kind of slip off your face. This almost has like a grip to it. I don't know how to explain it, but it really stays on my face all freaking day while still looking fresh and glowy. It doesn't break down. It's like, it, it really wears so beautifully. And I just love the texture of this foundation because it glides over all of my texture and it doesn't emphasize my lines or my dryness. It just wears so nicely, looks beautiful on the skin. It really is one of the best foundations ever and it photographs amazingly. Every time I do a photo shoot, no matter what photo shoot I'm doing, this is the foundation I'm wearing. 
Guaranteed! And then right behind it in second place, my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This is the best foundation at the drugstore. Every single time I wear this foundation, I get loads and loads of compliments. It just kind of acts like a smoothing filter on my skin. It glides over every pore. It doesn't emphasize my smile lines. It looks so beautiful on the skin and it has that perfect finish. It's not too dewy. It's not too matte. It's a true satin finish that looks so much like skin while giving you amazing coverage. That's so rare to find something that has incredible coverage but still looks like skin and I feel like this does that for me. Plus, it lasts hours and hours and hours on the skin. I almost feel like it looks better the longer it's on my skin and that's also very rare for a foundation. I honestly, I can't think of anything bad about it. It really is that good. And then even though I have four products, I'm gonna kind of group these two together because they're both tinted moisturizers and I love them both equally. Like so 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 much. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur CC Cream. I've gone through like two tubes of this. I have mine in the shade Light Medium and this is an incredible CC cream. It has amazing ingredients, amazing coverage, lasts forever on the skin. It really reminds me of the IT Cosmetics CC Cream but there's something about this one that I like a little bit more. I think it's a little bit more lightweight and just like sinks into my skin better than the IT Cosmetics one, but they're very, very similar. And I just love how this makes my skin look. It really does have like a blurring effect to it. It's so weird. It says it has blur effect technology, which I'm not sure what that means but I feel it, I see it. And I love that it has SPF 35 because I cannot get enough of SPF. And then the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer is my favorite affordable tinted moisturizer of all time. This makes my skin look so, oh, I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it today. It gives you the perfect amount of coverage to really even out the skin tone, but still like, covers your redness. It's so beautiful, so glowy. I love it and it also does last a really long time. It doesn't sink into my lines at all and it's just so fresh and lightweight and it feels great on the skin. I love this. I love this stuff so, 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 so much. Oh, I have to go pick up my dogs from the groomers. So I have to complete this video when I come back. Um, so BRB. Okay, I am back a hundred years later. Guys, I was sitting down filming this video at 2 p.m. and it is 8.16 p.m. The day got away from me, what can I say? Also guys, have you seen our newest water bottles over at lightslabel.com? Our new Mefui collection launches tomorrow. It's like my favorite, but anyway. Back into this. Okay, so for concealers, I have three that have been in my rotation recently. The first one being the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. There's no surprise here. This is like my favorite concealer ever. I like to compare it to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer or the Jouer Full Coverage Concealer, High Coverage Concealer. It's very similar to those in the sense that you get a lot of coverage with this concealer, but the difference is I feel like this one is a bit more hydrating. It looks a little bit nicer on my under eyes than the Tarte one does. I feel like the Shape Tape is awesome if your skin isn't as dry as mine and you know, my skin just isn't as young as it used to be. So I need something a little bit more hydrating. That's why I love the Meet Your Hue. It's my favorite. It lasts all day. It looks flawless. It's the best. And then the other concealer I want to talk about is actually what inspired this whole video because when I saw Jamie's video on her top three products, she mentioned the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I was like, oh my god, I have to pull that out and use it again because I haven't really been using it and I don't really remember how I feel about it. I think I used it like one or two times and then I put it away and didn't really play with it, but I've been using it for like two weeks now consistently. I already loved the e.l.f. Uh, 16 hour wear camo concealer. That one is really good if you have normal to oily skin because it has a really nice matte finish and it lasts all freaking day. This is pretty much the exact same thing, only it has a dewier finish. It has a more hydrating look to your under eyes, but it still lasts all day. I feel like the coverage is still there. I'm wearing it today, but I mean, I've had my makeup on for hours now, but I feel like it doesn't break up in my under eyes. So many concealers will just like settle in my lines. All those, all those little lines right there. I'll look at my face at the end of the day and I'll have like lines. Do you, you know what I'm talking about? If it happens to you, they're like actual streaks of concealer marks. Like they look like little lines because they have sunken into your lines. This concealer does not do that. It just sits on the skin so nicely. It blends right in. It covers what it needs to cover, but it looks so youthful and it's just a really, really, 
really amazing concealer and it's so affordable. It's, it's great. And then the other one I have been loving so much is my Il Maquillage Fuck I'm Flawless Multi-Use Perfecting Concealer. You can see like where I'm buying already. I love this concealer. This is my daily concealer. It's the one I use pretty much every single day because it's so lightweight, so easy to blend into the skin. I swear I like bounce this in with a beauty blender and it disappears in like five seconds. Not in a bad way. It just like blends right into the skin. It's nice and sheer and very fresh, but it still has pretty good coverage. It definitely doesn't have the coverage that these have. It has a more lightweight coverage. I have the shade 3.5 and that's the one I use on my under eyes. But I'll also take number eight and use this like on my entire face. Because like I said, it's just so lightweight and sheer and blends right into the skin and looks so youthful and so pretty and I feel like it does last all day. I don't know, I really, really like it. It's just that type of concealer that gives me everything I need for a daily wear. If that makes sense, I don't know, I really love it. All right, so next up we have bronzers and I know that I don't have to talk about this because it seems to be the only bronzer I've been using for literally the past like six or seven months. This is the Ilia Nightlife Bronzing Powder in the shade Drawn In. They have two different shades. This is my perfect shade. Please excuse the broken mirror, I know, I know. I should get a new bronzer, but like I don't wanna throw it away. So I just like don't look at it, I don't look at it. But ever since I discovered this bronzer, I have not been able to put it down. It's seriously my favorite, it's my favorite color, my favorite formula, I love it so much. It's a very smooth powder, so it doesn't feel like too matte or chalky on the skin, like when I'm blending it out. It doesn't look like dry on my texture, cause that's the issue with my skin is I don't really have a lot of breakouts. I have a lot of like texture issues and powdery products tend to cling to that. But this texture is really smooth and you don't get like a patchy application, plus I I love the color so much. I just love that it's like a perfect mix of a contour and a bronzer. Like the color is perfect. It's nice and neutral. It has a little bit of cool, like a little bit of coolness to really sculpt out the face, but it just makes you look like tan and yummy. I love it. It's literally my, my perfect bronzer. But in conjunction with a matte bronzer like this, I also really, really love using a more shimmery, glowy type of bronzers. I love those like sun kissed and warm, summery kind of bronzers. And for that, I do really, really love the physician. Formula Butter Bronzer, specifically the Sun Kissed Bronze one. This color is so nice because it doesn't have like a warm undertone. It's glowy but still has that neutral undertone that just looks so pretty all over, like not just in the contour areas, like it looks pretty all over your face. And the glow in this is so minimal. It's like a very slight sheen. It just looks so natural and beautiful on the skin. I love the butter bronzers. The formula is really nice and like buttery and yummy. I'm not gonna lie, my favorite shimmery bronzer of all time is the Becca um, Gradient Sunlit bronzer in Sunrise Waves. I use this all the time. I just never use it on camera because it was limited edition and like discontinued. But this type of bronzer is my favorite. This has like the three different tones in the middle and one of them is a little bit more warm and then it has like the highlights on the side and I always just mix this together and it looks freaking stunning. If anybody has a dupe out there, please let me know because I love this bad boy. And then the third bronzer I have to talk about is actually a cream bronzer and it's a newer discovery. It's a recent find and it's already in my top three. I have fallen madly in love with this product. This is the cream bronzer, well it's the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the shade Light. So it's a contour stick and it's from the brand Makeup by Mario. And I've gotta be honest, I've used a ton of Makeup by Mario products and some of them are really good, but but none of them have ever felt like holy grail status for me. But this, this is making its way up there for sure. This is the cream contour slash bronzer that I'm wearing on my skin right now. I mean, I've been wearing it for hours and I was wearing my mask for a really long time at Petco. This cream contour is incredible. It's so amazing because it's, it's very pigmented, but so easy to blend out. So it's like the best of both worlds. You don't have to build on it too much, but it never leaves like a stripe on your face or anything like that. It's so easy to work with and I love this color so much. It's like the perfect neutral undertone. It's not too cool or gray and it just blends effortlessly into other cream products. It's just so great at sculpting and the pigment doesn't get lost when you start to like blend it. It's just so good. So good. Bro, I should have worn a matte foundation today. You know what? Let me grab my Glossier Wouter now that we're about to talk about powders because I gotta be honest, I don't really use powder that much anymore. My skin is that dry. But if I had to pick my three favorite powders, if I had to do a top three, Glossier Wouter is definitely gonna be one of them. The Hourglass Veil Powder is going to be my other one for sure. And then I also really enjoy the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder when I want a more glam powder but still not a drying one. That one's really good too. But holy heck, am I sweaty? Oh, and also the RCMA No Color Powder is freaking amazing. 
and super affordable. Okay, so for the past couple of years, I have really fallen in love with blush. So I feel like my top three are always always changing, but I will give you the top three that I've been loving recently for sure. One of them will come to no surprise to you. I just have to mention this because I can't do a top three when it comes to blushes and not mention these. You guys know how much I love, well I don't know if you do, but I love the Buxom Wonderlust Primer Infused Blushes. They're incredible. They're like my favorite blushes in the whole world. Aside from Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon, which we're not going to talk about today because you know, you know it's my favorite. But these primer infused blushes are so incredible because they last such a long time on the skin. I love every single color, but I specifically want to talk about Dolly today. I mean, I feel like I've spoken about Dolly quite a few times, but I love this shade so much. It's not a shade that I would normally go for. I like very warm, peachy tone blushes, as you can see. This is a little bit more on the pinky side, but there's something about it when you start to blend it out that it really warms up on the cheeks and it's like a very rosy, yummy kind of pinky mauve. It's, I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it because in the pan it looks like very mauve -y, but on the cheeks it just like glows and it looks so delicious. These are so incredible and they last forever. My blush looks amazing at the end of the night. These are so great and definitely check out Dolly. This is a good one. What I want to know though, Buxom, if this is such a big hit, okay? If you know it's so good, why are there only six of them? There have been six of them for like two years, please. Release more shades. And then I have to talk about the Romantica blush in the Alamar Cosmetics Colorete blush trio, the Fair Light trio. This shade, Romantica in the middle, is my favorite baby pink blush to ever exist. It doesn't look like it's baby pink in this <laughs> lighting because it isn't like a bubblegum baby pink. It's a little bit more like peachy pale baby pink. And at first when I saw it in the pan, I was like, oh my gosh, that color is gonna be too light for me. But no, there's something about this shade that when you start to like blend it into the skin as it warms up to your cheeks, it looks so like, how do I explain it? Like youthful and pretty. I don't know, every time I wear it, I feel like young. <laughs> I know that may sound strange, but there's something about it that just makes me feel like so girly and fun and I love it, love it, love it so much. I actually get so many compliments on my blush when I'm wearing Chromatica. It's kind of crazy and I've totally hit pan on that. You can see it's one of my favorites. And then the third blush I want to talk about has been my newest obsession. I can't get enough of this. It's the blush I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Face Blush Color in the shade Picante. I believe this was a collaboration with Alana. Like I think that she curated this shade and oh my god. It is stunning. I love this so much. Orange blushes are my favorite blushes of all time. And this is killer. This is hot, spicy, picante. Beautiful name. Love it. It's just so summery, hot, and juicy. Makes the cheeks look absolutely yummy and warm and just sun-kissed and like ready for the Caribbean. I don't know. I love this blush so much. And my favorite thing is that you can really, really, really build this color up. You can get like intense orange, juicy, dewy cheeks, or you can get a really soft color payoff and it just looks so natural. I know this shade looks really intimidating, but it applies so beautifully. A really stunning formula. I love the Nude Sticks blushes, like these cream blushes. They're so good. And this color is definitely my favorite one they've ever done. I gotta be honest, I don't really wear highlight all that much anymore. Usually because these days I feel like the glow that I get from my blush or like the rest of my face is enough, but I will highlight from time to time. It depends on the occasion. And whenever I do highlight, honestly, like nine times out of 10, I am using my Clinique highlight that I adore so much. I've spoken about this a ton. This is the Clinique Powder Pop Flower Highlighter in the shade Lunar Pop. I love this because it matches with every single look I do, no matter what it is. It's like a combination of every color. There's a little bit of gold in here, a little bit of pink, champagne, even like silver peach. I don't even know how to describe this color, but it's so beautiful. And my favorite thing about this is the formula. It's so incredibly smooth, but still gives you a beautiful glow. It makes your cheeks look nice and wet without looking metallic at all. You know how some of those highlights um, feel wet and metallic-y and are like super shiny. That's not the case with this. This is very much a powder, but it's so fine and so smooth that it looks just absolutely stunning on the cheeks. So beautiful, but also natural at the same time. Like you glow like that yourself. It's incredible. Definitely one of my favorites of all time. But since I got to talk about three, I do want to talk about these two really quickly. They're old favorites, tried and true, but still very special to me. The Essence Pure Nude Highlighter is like $3 at Ulta, and it is the most pearlescent, beautiful, natural highlight 
in the world. If you have very fair skin, you're going to love this. If you have a bit of a deeper skin tone, I think they have a few other colors that go deeper than this because this is pretty fair as you can see. Well, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's pretty fair, but the finish on this is unlike any other highlight or powder that I've ever used ever. It's so unique and so special. And it just looks beautiful. I can't, no other word to describe it, but beautiful in a very, very natural way. It's like intense, but extremely natural because it's not shiny or shimmery or anything like that. It's just a true like sheen, like a pearl. I don't know how to explain it, but it's very, very beautiful. If you're looking for a very, very natural highlight that still gives your cheeks a pop and it's super affordable, you will love this. I have so what? I have to talk about the Essie. Eclipse Highlighter in Luna. I feel like I haven't spoken about this in years, but it's still one of my all-time favorite highlights ever. See, this is the kind of highlight that is more metallic. It has that type of finish that doesn't even feel like a powder. It just feels like a true, like, metallic sheen. This is how you do metallic in a very beautiful, seamless way. So, oh my gosh, I can't. This, guys, this highlight, dude. Wet. Wetness. Wetness. Actual wetness on the cheeks. It is beaming. If you want an intense, glam, beaming highlight that is really gonna look like you, they like threw water on your face. Or like your AC broke. <laughs> this is the highlight for you. And I just love this color so much because it is more on like the pinky side, but it's not silvery or too cool. It's kind of like a very, very warm champagne pink. I wouldn't even call it a pink. It's like a champagne color that just looks absolutely stunning. And I feel like you would love this if you want an intense highlight that still doesn't look like a stripe. It looks like really good. Like it, like it blends into the skin. You will love it. All right, let's talk about eye products. So when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I haven't really been wearing different eyeshadow palettes at all. I've kind of been wearing this one eyeshadow palette that I've been wearing for like months and months and months. That's from a brand, but that, that obviously it's from a brand, but that palette hasn't come out yet. So I'm not allowed to say what it is, but I've really just been wearing that because these days I'm not going to lie to you guys. I love a natural color story. I mean, I will still do a bold look, but the color story will still remain like kind of natural, but you guys know how I feel about a really beautiful glass like shimmer it's like my favorite thing in the whole world to just put on like a regular matte shadow but then have like a very fine glitter on my entire lid like it's my favorite that finely milled beautiful shimmer can turn a really natural basic look into something a little bit more special like i'm not sure if you can tell but i'm wearing like the most finely milled golden shimmer that just looks so pretty i'm wearing like a basic matte in my crease and in my outer corners but like that finely milled gold just kind of looks like a golden glaze on my entire lid and that like hazy glaze look is is my vibe and i love it so much i just think it's so beautiful and elegant and i've been loving that look so i've really just been wearing looks like that but i have to give a huge shout out to the artist couture diamond light finishers these are all really really amazing if I'm doing a top three of eyes this has to be in it because they just elevate every single eye look and I love finely milled glitters like this and then the other two eye products I have to mention are also holy grails this is the P Louise makeup base this is my favorite eye primer of all time it conceals everything on your eyes because it is like a base it's not clear but it still keeps your eyeshadows in place all day and it doesn't make your eyeshadows crease it makes them look really vibrant and really beautiful I just love this so much and my favorite one is the shade rumor number two and then if I had to pick a single eyeshadow that is like my tried and true I love this so much I mean, I do have a few singles, like amber lights, that I keep near and dear to my heart. But I wear the Dose of Colors Block Party Eyeshadow in Encore all the freaking time. This is the perfect one and done eyeshadow. Like, if you want a beautiful eye look, like a one and done eyeshadow look, if you want a beautiful, stunning, what's on your eyes eyeshadow look, this is it. It's a really beautiful chocolate brown shade that has a ton of golden glitter all throughout it. And it just looks so stunning on the lid and it's the perfect eyeshadow because you can really pack it on the lid to get a really intense color payoff but you can start to blend it into the crease and then it just like fades so beautifully and blends so nicely so you have like this like ombre effect with just one shadow it's so good definitely check this out if you like warm browns especially like shimmery ones because you will not be disappointed it's not like chunky or glittery or gross it is amazing mascaras 
my holy grails don't change. My Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This is my favorite tubing mascara of all time. This mascara is a dream to remove. It just comes off in little tubes and it's so easy and it's like the lazy gals perfect mascara. So I love it so much. Plus it gives me really volumized lashes. This is so good. I've gone through so many of them. And then the other mascara I want to talk about is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. That's my favorite drugstore mascara. I don't have one to share with you today because I ran out and I definitely need to buy another one. That one is awesome because it's really volumizing, really black. It keeps a curl. It's just so good. It's so intense. I will say I prefer a thick volumizing formula. Like the thicker the better. I really really enjoy an intense mascara. Which leads me to my third favorite. This is actually a new favorite of mine. I recently discovered this and I love it so so much but when I went to go read reviews on Sephora I was kind of like oh <laughs> because so many people do not like this mascara actually a lot of people thought it was too clumpy too thick probably too intense which I agree you only need to pass this on your lashes like three times and then you're good this is a really really thick really volumizing really intense mascara but I just love the way it makes my lashes look. I'm wearing it today and I don't really particularly love it on my lower lash line, I'm not gonna lie. A tubing mascara is the way to go on your lower lash line no matter what. Honestly, no matter what mascara I'm wearing on my top, I'm usually wearing this one on the bottom. But keep that in mind that it is a pretty wet, intense mascara and it might not be for everyone. But if you like a thick lash, you might love this. So I actually have three different lip liners to talk about today. I am a lip liner hoarder. I am obsessed with lip liners. I think that is my favorite lip category ever. And it's mainly because like over drying my lips is my favorite thing to do. I have very small lips, so I depend on my lip liners to make my lips look a little juicier than they are in real life. And so what I look for in a lip liner is something that's gonna glide on my lips. Like it's gonna be really easy to use because ain't nobody got time for a really hard, rough lip liner. I want something glidey, but I want it to last a very long time, which Sometimes those don't correlate because usually like the glidier and the slippier your lip liner is, the faster it wears off your face. <laughs> the more rough ones tend to be long wearing, but the smooth and long wearing ones, they're out there. Especially, you guys knew I was gonna talk about these. Especially the Pat McGrath lip liners, the Permagel Ultra Lip Pencils. I think this is my favorite makeup product to ever exist, ever. I don't have contour with me right now. I'm pretty sure it's in my purse downstairs. Look at, look at, look at what, look at. This is like my fourth done undone. And I'm almost done <laughs> with done undone. Definitely the two that I wear the most are done undone and contour, but contour. I would say that contour is my favorite though. It is the most beautiful lip liner ever to get like a nice overdrawn contoured look. It's so good. The formula on these lip liners are unbeatable. Nothing compares. They glide on the lips. They last a kajillion years. I swear I will look at my face at the end of the night and my lips are still intact. And that is hard to come by. These are so good. Worth every single penny because they are pricey, especially for a lip liner, but worth it. So worth it. In second place, I have to give it up to the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liners. These are really, really great too. They last a super long time and the color selection is really nice. My favorite is 1C. I also like 3C as well. I wish they had names. These also glide like a dream while lasting a super long time. There's just something about the Pat McGrath ones I like more. But yeah, these are also really, really great. My second favorite. And then, I gotta be honest, I have fallen in love. I have completely fallen in love with the Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liners. They're freaking good. They're really, really good actually. I've been wearing this one a ton. You can see it's a lot shorter. I believe the name of this one is Blondie. I don't know anymore because the name is like up here and I have sharpened it. This is like a minor detail, but I really hope in the future, I don't know if they would, but if they would put the name towards the end, kind of like the Pat McGrath one here. Like mine is a stubby little thing, but I can still see what it's called because the name is towards the ass of the pencil versus here they have it like uh, towards the face I guess but if they could move it towards the ass that would be really awesome and really helpful um, just so that I can tell like my audience but I mean that's a stupid reason but you know some people forget what they own that doesn't really matter but Anyway, I think this is the shade Blondie. I'm currently wearing the shade Hot Tea. This one is really, really nice as well. I love this like brownish nude. It's so freaking pretty. And I was pleasantly surprised with how they last because they are pretty slidey. Like they have a nice groove to them. They're easy to use, but they last a pretty decent amount of time. I haven't really touched up my lip liner. I only touched it up like a little bit right before I sat down to film and I put my lips on like at one. I did have to touch up my lipstick, but the actual lip liner still stayed intact. It's nowhere near as long lasting as my Pat McGrath ones. These are magic. This is witchcraft. I don't know what the hell is in this. 
Magic! Fairy godparents! I don't know what it is. But still good nonetheless. I feel like the lip category is the hardest category because we're constantly trying new lip products and loving new lip products. But these three are like holy grail for me and they've been holy grail for like six months. And I'm not gonna lie, they all have a very similar theme. None of these are matte at all. The first one being the Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipsticks. Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipsticks. Say that five times fast. I love these. I love these so much. I'm not gonna lie, I wish they came out with more shades that didn't have like actual little glitter particles in them because all of the ones that I own do. Not that that really bothers me because it just makes the lips look extra shiny and beautiful. But these are incredible, guys. I love these so, so, so much. I wish more people talked about them. They're the perfect shiny lipsticks. They're so creamy, so juicy. I love how they look on the lips. My two favorite colors are Glazed and Makeout Break. I'm wearing Makeout Break on top of the hot tea lip liner and I just love this lip combo it's so juicy and delicious and best of all I'm not gonna lie my favorite thing about this is the scent this smells identical to sprinkles not the little tubey ones I'm talking about like the flat pastel ones you know how that tastes that's what this smells like this smells the way that those damn sprinkles taste and those were my favorite sprinkles ever I used to beg my mom to buy me those sprinkles every time we went to Publix she always told me no but sometimes Sometimes she would say yeah, and I would eat that whole bottle. <laughs> and literally that's what these smell like. The scent alone, it's like such a pleasant experience as I'm applying it, I'm like, mmm, I love it. I also love and adore, can't get enough of these. These are the Lila B Lovingly Lip Tinted Lip Oils. These are incredible too. These are pretty pricey, I'm not gonna lie. But the formula is so stunning. Such a beautiful formula. After I tried this one, I bought every single shade. This one is called Be Elegant, and this one is definitely my favorite. I throw this on top of pretty much every single lip liner. It is more on like the... The rosier side, but it is like a really pretty everyday mauve. It's like a rosy neutrally mauve, like a warm mauve, but still mauve. I don't know, I feel like it looks really beautiful with cool tone looks, but also works with warm looks. It's such a beautiful formula as well. It's very, very shiny, and it is like an oil, but it's not thick. It doesn't feel slippy at all. It's very, very comfortable and just so, so beautiful and really, really shiny. I love these so much, especially Be Elegant. And then the Alamar Cosmetics, uh, this new those lip glosses are so incredible if you want a really really intense juicy mommy sexy mamacita plump pout these are the glosses for you specifically though specifically though birthday suit this is my favorite gloss of all time if I had to pick one lip gloss to wear for the rest of my life it is birthday suit from Alamar Cosmetics it's the perfect everyday pink that has a little bit of sheen to it a little glimmer, a little shimmer. Oh my god, it looks stunning. It looks stunning and it makes your lips look really juicy and really plump and bigger and just wow. They're all really gorgeous, but Birthday Suit is like on another level of perfection. But I also really, really love Chula. And this is after they reformulated their glosses and they made Chula a little bit more sheer and it's stunning and perfect. I'm actually going to put some on. <laughs> so juicy, oh my god. I love wearing these when I'm going out. <laughs> When I would go out. I'm not gonna lie, I wore a birthday suit the other day to lunch. Like I went to a restaurant and I was wearing it, like a very thin application and it was stunning. But I love these for a more juicy, bold pout. Whenever I want that extra, extra glossy look, you know? Okay, and then the last category before I jump into the shower with only cold water. <laughs> I wanna talk about setting sprays and I have four to mention actually. So I have three and then I have an honorable mention, a very special honorable mention. But when it comes to my favorites, I would have to say that these are my favorites. I'm not gonna lie, I have a ton in rotation. I love setting sprays, but these are the ones that I, I definitely use the most. The Fenty Beauty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray is one of my favorites because look at this mist. So fine, ooh, so fine. Oh my God, that feels actually really nice on my hot ass face. The mist is so fine, so beautiful. It just melts everything right into the skin and gives you a little bit of a dew. As, ugh, I love it so much, mainly for the mist. I'm not even gonna lie. And that's also the reason why I love the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist so damn much because look at this mist. I mean, nothing compares to that. This hands down, best mist of all time. And it, like I said, melts my makeup right into my skin. The reason I wear setting spray is to get rid of that like makeup-y look. And this is perfect for that. It's so beautiful. But I love 
love, love, love the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. When it comes to extending the wear of my makeup, I really find that this one makes my makeup last longer. And I love the way it makes my skin look every time I apply it, especially when I have like a lot of powder on my face or if I have like a more satin matte foundation. When I put this on top, oh my gosh, it just makes everything look so good. This is hands down the best setting spray at the drugstore. I've gone through like three of these. So good. And then my honorable mention, I it's an honorable mention because I love this product as much as I hate it. Listen to that, okay? I love this product. I love it just as much as I hate it. And that is the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face Waterproof Setting Spray Ultra Matte Finish from Hell. Just kidding, it doesn't say from Hell, but they made this there. This is the most intense freaking face spray I've ever used in my entire life. It, li it literally is hairspray. It's hairspray. I'm pretty sure it has the same ingredients as hairspray. I even go to look it up on Sephora and it has three stars out of five. I'm surprised. And when you go look at the reviews, you either freaking hate it or you love it. And I am that person that's right in the middle. So let me tell you why it's awful. Okay, why it's awful and why I might not recommend it. This shit stinks so bad, okay? This is the most intense smelling setting spray you will ever smell. It smells like hairspray, for real. And when you spray this on your face, you will stay smelling it for the entire day, and I'm not even freaking kidding. You smell this, maybe not the entire day, but you're still smelling this for at least four hours after applying it. That's not an exaggeration. And it's not that it smells bad, it just smells like, like a science experiment. Like it's intense. It also doesn't have the best mist, okay? It like freaking drools everywhere. You get shit everywhere and then your hands are sticky because like I said, this is freaking glue. And the mist isn't the best. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. Ah, oh my God, I got that in my eye. Now my eye is gonna get glued together. It leaves your face almost feeling like and it takes a while for that feeling to go away. You're like kind of like stretching your skin out like throughout the day. You're like, what is this feeling? I don't know. It's crazy. It's intense. It sucks. However, this shit keeps your makeup on for three months. If you seal your makeup with this, you can go to hot yoga three times in a row and still walk out with a beautiful full face of makeup. That's how serious this product is. This is no freaking joke. So when you look at me and you say, Kathleen, I want my makeup to last all night. I'm about to go to the club and I'm gonna dance my life away with a man I meet at the bar. You're gonna be dancing passionately all night and you cannot afford, you cannot afford for your makeup to move even a little bit. I'm gonna say, well, there's only one setting spray you can use then, Resting Boss Face. Although, don't let him get too close. He will ask you why your face smells like that. I usually like to spray some perfume immediately after spraying this on my face to kind of take that scent away. Best long wearing setting spray ever. I mean, it is awful, but it is great. I can't get rid of it. I can't, I can't get rid of it. I find myself looking for it when I want a super long wearing, amazing result at the end of the night. And you know, I can't deny that, so it means I must like it. But anyway guys, I have sweat dripping down my butt crack. Like, actual, like, lots of it. I'm starting to feel a little delusional, not gonna lie. So, I'm gonna head out. I mean, I've been sitting here for like 45 minutes. So I'm sorry that this video is so long. You knew it was gonna be long. You saw top something in every category. You knew we were gonna be here forever. It's not my fault. Except it is. But anyway guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what your top three favorite products are. Maybe not in every category because that would be a crazy long comment, but give me your top three products right now. Like right now, what are your top three cannot live without makeup products? And maybe I check them out. But yeah guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, 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 so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I keep thinking this is like a little hair sticking out of my bun. And it's not, it's my dead plant. I like that my bottle encourages me. It's like, proud of you. Dale, more agua. That sweat is going right through that water. Welcome to Miami, bienvenido a Miami. Guess who's got a swamp in her ass? Me.